in the previous video we have discussed about the various operators in kotlin so uh, now we will discuss about uh, what happens if one or more than one uh, two or more than two operators occur simultaneously in the same statement what i mean to say is uh, like i'll just mention a function having val variable or value x uh, as having 20 value y having 30 and variable z having a value of 40 so i am asking you that what happens when okay i'll just make it where what happens when i'll assign reassign x uh, plus equals to z into y what happens then and i'll then print l so what would be the output of this particular function how can we decide that uh, there are two equa uh, uh, two operators simultaneously like we are assigning the value of x as x plus z into y so we cannot say that we here use the uh, board mass okay so what we do here how we determine the output so we there is a order of precedence so we can treat it like the preference order so the post fix has the most preference order so i'll just uh, quickly explain to you what is post fix and prefix so we have discussed about the increment and the decrement operator right the plus plus and the minus minus operator that increase or decrease the value by one so the post fix and the prefix increment and decrement op operator are a plus plus and plus plus a so a plus plus is the post fix and plus plus a is the prefix increment operator okay so the original value of a is returned at first and then a is incremented by one so just read it out and uh, i'll be explaining it in more detail at later part of this video okay so i'll just continue with this so the higher highest preference is of the post fix uh, uh, operator and the second highest preference is of prefix operator the mul multiplicative operator is the into the divide and the modulus okay it has the third most or, uh, or preference okay and then comes the additive operator the plus and the minus and then comes the comparison operator when we do the comparison and all and then comes the equality operator and at last there are the assignment operators okay so this has the least priority okay so uh, here your board mass logic would be true but uh, if it would be into equals to and z plus y it won't be true so i'll just quickly uh, run the program and uh, uh, till then we will discuss what would be the value of x so uh, as we can see that the multiplicative operator has the higher preference so the okay so the output is 10 20 uh, 1220 okay so we can see that the multiplicative operator has the higher preference so uh, firstly the multiplication would happen and the code will look will look like x plus equals to z into y what is z into y it is uh, 120 one, uh, 1200 okay so x plus equals to uh, 1200 so the reassigned value of x should be the previous value of x plus the 1200 and what is the previous value of x the previous value of x is 20 so the reassigned value of x is 1220 as we saw in the output okay so it is i guess it is clear to all of you so we will just work on one more uh, such example where variable a is 40 variable b is also 40.0 okay so it is a double type and there is a value c that is equals to plus plus a 
minus 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 b okay so now what is b so now we will discuss first and then we will see the output so here a is 40 b is 40.0 a is 40.0 now uh, we can see that the prefix operator has the most uh, the highest order okay also we have seen here that in the prefix the value of a is in incremented by one and then it returns the value okay in the post fit uh, post fix the value of a is returned the first and then the a is incremented by one so uh, what i am saying trying to say here is uh, that here the the plus plus a returns the incremented value okay so the plus plus a is the incremented value so uh, it has the highest uh, order of precedence so like i can say that c is equals to plus plus a will be 41.0 and minus minus b would be 39.0 so when i run this program i should be able to see the output as 2.0 okay and here it is so we were right so uh, we can conclude the order of precedence and uh, we can say that it's just a preference order by which the operators are designed this uh, decided okay now we will come to this uh, increment and uh, decrement operator and what is the what is the meaning of prefix or postfix operator so uh, when i define uh, a variable um, alpha and uh, assign its value as 23 okay and what i'll do is i'll just print ln and uh, a plus uh, plus sorry alpha plus plus so what result do you expect so uh, mostly you would be expecting uh, 24 but that's not true the output is 23 isn't that shocking so what i mentioned about the postfix operator was that the original value of a is returned at first so when i uh, run this program the alpha plus plus returns the original value of alpha but at the end of this line or at the starting of the next line the value of alpha is incremented by one so when i print the value of alpha here what will happen is so here it at line 36 the the uh, output would be 30 24 23 and here at line 30, 37 the output would be 24 okay that's just because the prefix and the postfix so what would happen if uh, instead of alpha plus plus i'll print the value of plus plus alpha okay so uh, the prefix operator increases the value instantly by one and then returns the value so the uh, output of this would be 24 only okay because it is a uh, prefix operator okay it is 25 because after that the alpha of well uh, the value of alpha is changed to 24 and then we have increased it one more time so it is 25 okay so you can note here that it is implemented and then returned and in the post fix it is returned and then incre incremented okay now we will move to the type conversion so what do you mean by type conversion basically if uh, I know nothing about uh, cotton I just know English so what what one should mean by type conversion one should one would mean that we have to convert the type okay so uh, what I what will happen if I have to convert like I have a is as 40 and I have to convert it into an integer so how will I do so so I'll con uh, uh, create a variable and uh, name it as a int okay and give it a value of a which is the original operator and add two int function to it okay so what it did it what it what it did is 
uh, it created the value of a into two int. So it just transferred the value of a to int. So now the a int variable is of integer type. Okay. So when I print the value of uh, a int. Okay, just I'll just hide this code. And when I print the value of a int, it should be uh, 40 instead of 40.0. Okay, so uh, the it it is used many times. So when I uh, suppose I have a uh, someone's phone number uh, stored uh, like an integer phone number as integer. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to store this integer, store this integer as a string because, um, but just I have to do so. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a another variable which is phone string, and what I'll do is I'll just give it a value of phone number dot to string okay and i'll when i hover over it and it has the data type of string so uh, you might all have uh, somewhat somewhere heard about the sky values a s c i i sky values if you haven't heard about it just google it and then resume the video okay so what what if i have a character any character I have uh, any character and I want its sky value. What will I do? So I have a character suppose a and I want its sky value. So what I'll do is I'll just print ln and a uh, dot uh, sorry character dot to int. So it will when I run this program, it will just show the uh, sky value of A. Okay, so the sky value of A is 97. When I want the sky value of exclamation mark, I'll run the program and the sky value of exclamation mark is uh, 33. Okay, so that's all for this video guys. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more.